The site's located north of Hamilton, so sort of very much rural Waikato. One of the requirements for the brief was to provide stables for horses. We saw that as a really great opportunity to play with the idea that the house sort of carried that shape of and structure that you would see typically in a rural setting and use that in a more interesting arrangement for how we laid out the house. Relying on the gable structure but creating more pavilions and more spaces as we sort of moved across the site. There's nice pockets around this house that are you know, courtyards or outdoor spaces that came about, I guess, when you end up organising a group of buildings as opposed to a single building. We used a wide range of materials, uh, the main ones being brick, timber, and various stones. So slate and quartz that have been used in the courtyards. We saw it important to be able to have materials that were hard wearing and robust on the outside of the house but were soft enough to bring inside the house as well. The exterior cladding being cedar we've been able to carry that through to the inside in particular in the living room it's features on the ceilings and the walls. The higher ceilings represents that gable form that we started with with the stables. Being the interior designer for this project was relatively easy for me because I am the homeowner and also being an interior designer you're having access to a lot of materials and products. The flooring that we chose is American Oak Bandsawn Timber Wide Plank and from there the bench top which was selected is a quartzite origin from Brazil. And the good thing about when you use a lot of natural product. You don't need to style a home a lot because it's the products that are the standout. I love the way that the home flows. It's a very easy home to live in with all the outdoor spaces. You can always find a sheltered spot and it's great to have large gatherings here which we often do. New Zealand architecture I think moving forward needs to be progressive and clever, but at the same time it needs to be more inclusive of everyone. I think there's people working really hard to provide solutions, but we have a lot of things in place that are making it very difficult, be it you know, sort of bureaucracy or the cost of living or the cost of materials. And so I think moving forward, we need to be able to understand those, figure those out and collectively work out how we make architecture better. <laughs>